hello, is this thing on? Oh, it's on, okay. <laughs> with another video and how's it going how's your day been what time of day are you watching let me know in the comment section hope you've had a great week hope you will have a great week next week if you didn't have one this week we all have those those times um but yeah guys as you can tell by the title i am doing a hair video period <laughs> basically i'm going to be showing y'all my absolute best best hair routine to get the most perfect most luscious most soft most bouncy curls so i'm going to be showing y'all um how i get it how my hair getting to look from this to this <laughs> yeah so it's gonna be a process but it's gonna be a good one and it's gonna have a good result and i'm gonna bring y'all with me and show y'all all the tea so you can do it too okay okay i'll catch y'all in a little bit peace love happiness bye oh <sighs> y'all i'm old <laughs> i'm not old i'm just sore Today was leg day at the gym, and y'all, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So this is my hair freshly washed. I haven't put any product in it. Um, I was, let me show y'all what I used. So this is the um the shampoo that I use, and the conditioner. And now I'm gonna detangle my hair with this. Heaven sent brush, my holy grail. Oh, let me show y'all. Uh, I use this detangler from Talia Wajid. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, from Talia Wajid. So this is the detangler I use. I'm gonna just slap it on my head like so, like that. Miss Tabitha Brown reference. Because it's my business like so like that don't judge me for how how you put how i put my conditioner in my hair if you want to um watch a youtube video on how to put conditioner in your hair for maximum results then go do that and then come back but if you're like me and you just you just you know I think the praying hands method works great, so that's what we're gonna stick with. Uh, that's what we're gonna stick with. Put some in the back. Yeah. It's so weird styling my newly short hair. Like, I don't know what to do with it, but we're gonna be doing something with it. I should do this in sections, I know, but I'm lazy. So we're just gonna do it how we do how we do is it. So I detangle in sections though. Cause I'm trying not to catch my ear because I just pierced them. And if I rank this through my new piercings, y'all I'll be sent. I'll be gone. I'll just I just give up on life, honestly. I would, I do, I, I don't like pain. I don't like being uncomfortable. So, combination of that, and then it's gonna be uncomfortable for the rest of the time it heals from me yanking it with my brush. You know, that's not good. This is ghetto detangling, y'all. I just wanna let y'all know that. Shout out to my sister who got me this brush. You, you the real um, MVP, cause I don't know how I detangled my hair before, but 
And as you can see, y'all, it's not like in the commercials. It does have some give back. You know, those people probably detangled their hair so many times before they recorded that detangling video. And you see all they, they put so much product in that. Um, it's probably the product that's helping it, you know. I Me, mean, I just put a little bit of product because I don't want so much buildup in my hair. So a little bit of product just so I can easily do this. And then I'm, I'm going to come back when I finish detangling. <laughs> this is all the hair that I lost in detangling. So after detangling... Oh, it got caught in my ear on my backing. I'm screaming. People... You might just have to call it a night <laughs> if I can't get this out of my ear without yanking it off. Jesus, please, 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 please. Okay, we're good. Oh, my ear is red. Ah! After detangling, I put the honey, honey hydrate from Camille Rose. It's just leave-in conditioner. Helps keep my hair hydrated because, you know, dyed hair needs a lot of moisture. Got to keep the curls intact because we like luscious locks, not dried tumbleweeds. And I just used the Praying Heavens. Praying, what? Praying Heavens, what, Simone? I just be dumb sometimes. Praying, praying hand method. Make sure I get all my um, ends, mostly, just to really get it in, get it in there. So after I do that, I um, section my hair off first. And these parts don't have to be neat or anything I just need to section my hair so I can have goals because I'll be like okay one half of your head is done one quarter of your head is done you know you know what I mean you know what I mean <laughs> so I'm almost done with my hair so I'm gonna show y'all what I did to get these um yeah I don't know can you see that I don't know I can't see so yeah I just took a section of my hair and I sprayed it with water because it's kind of dry now because it's lifted out but I spray with water make sure it's like saturated then I section a piece of um like a row of hair off to start my coils on that and then I'll wrap this up again so it's out of my way okay yep so I get my hair sprinkle it spray it with a little bit more water make sure it's good and wet then I take my shining jam and I take just just a little bit, not that much, and just do it on like the roots of my hair just to make sure that's moisturized and just so it can have like it so it won't be puffy when um when I separate my finger coils. Yeah, and then I separate a piece of hair comb it out a little bit get this stuff motions 
spray a little bit like a pea size amount that's big like, that was a little bigger than a pea but basically a pea size amount and then just take it out my hair and coil it around my finger so this nice little coil and i scrunch it up a bit this nice little ringlet appears oh look it's so cute yeah so until so that little ringlet appears and I section off and do it with another another piece of hair that's more like a pea size. Then I just coil, coil, coil. And you want to coil. Let me finish. You want to coil until like it's like tight up into like your head. Like you can feel it getting tighter. And you want to like let it go. And just scrunch it up a bit. And voila. A nice finger coil. And I like to do my finger coils kind of big. So when I wake up in the morning and I um, separate them, my curls would be fluffy. Um, but still have lots of definition still because I didn't do them so small the first time. Like, I don't, the finger coil is not the end part. That's just like. A really big important part but it's not the end part <laughs> Do that with the rest of my hair. my phone's gonna die so i'll catch y'all in a bit charge it a little bit and then come back so i'm all done as you can see um but what i'm gonna do now is diffuse it a little bit and scrunch it up just to give it um make sure curls are just more bouncier and full of life when i wake up in the morning okay. i put it in a low setting and i do cool because, you know, don't want that heat damage. But if I do do heat, I put heat protected on my hair. So it won't, um, it'll be less damage. <laughs> Alright, so I'll check back with y'all in the morning and show you what I do. Um, I literally just keep this and I just put a bonnet on and sleep on it. Oh, okay, so I'm going to show y'all how I wrap my hair at night to make sure my curls are not squished. Flip it over like this. And then I put my scarf right there. Make sure all my curls are brought up like this and then bring them all to the front and then tie bow 
well not a bow but you know just tie it so it doesn't doesn't slip off my head during the night sorry if my energy's dwindling i'm tired y'all so like that that's my little makeshift pineapple it doesn't really look like a pineapple but that's what it's called and then i just get my bonnet and put it my on my hair like this sure every ringlet is in there and then voila kind of looks more like a pizza or a mushroom instead of a pineapple but you get my drift when my hair is all dry it'll look, it'll look more like a pineapple but yeah i keep it in there so i'm like clothes are scrunched up then when i sleep on it i'm not you know like dampening my curls but yeah i'll see y'all in the morning hey guys so it is the next day as you can see I'm in a different, different clothing articles. And yeah, but I'm going to take this off. No fancy way to do that. I just, just take it off like so, like that. You see, my hair is kind of crunched up now. Um, I'm just going to shake it out a little bit. Oh gosh, I look so young. <laughs> what I'm going to do now is... Okay, we're going to fight. Okay had to move Penelope out the way because she was trying to pick my hair out and I'm not ready to do it I have to oil my hands you know first before I do all of that so yeah I just take my Africa's best herbal oil yeah <laughs> this stuff and I just pour a little bit on my hands yeah just just a little bit so I'm just gonna Scooch that up in my hair a little bit. And then, so I'll take, I'll take a coil and then I'll just separate it. Yep. Twist it a little bit at the end so it's like all, yeah. And then I'll do that all around. Just take a coil, separate it, curl it in the same pattern that you had your hair curled in the beginning. And just keep doing that with all the individual curls. So yeah, basically I just, I just feel out one that I haven't already, I just separate it. Just separate. Separate. And divide. sure they're not they don't go dry while I'm doing this so you see all that bounce all that body but I'm gonna do the other side of my hair now and I'll be back. Hey guys, so I'm all done. As you can see, and you see, you see the bounce. You see the bounce. Hey. Oh snap! So to get more body, um, I'm just gonna pick my hair out a little bit. So just, just be. <laughs> So 
I'm going to cut that a little bit. Then I'll come back in a minute. So this is the hair, y'all. <laughs> my bangs a little bit um i just i don't think i like my the way my hair is in the front i don't like it in the how it is in the front um but yeah i'm gonna play with it you know this is how you get the soft luxurious bouncy beautiful curls so this is what we're working with i hope y'all got something from the tutorial and it's helpful for you and this is a tutorial just for like um 3b 3c to to 4a ish hair um i don't know how it worked for anything below or above but this is what works for me and my hair pattern specifically so for those who have the same hair pattern um as me you know hopefully this is helpful for you and you got some tips so it can be beautiful easy breezy you okay <laughs> all right i hope you enjoyed the video i love you love peace happiness bye